A family sleepover ends in tragedy. Flames rip through an East Baltimore row home, killing a mother and her two children just days before the holidays. Welcome to WJZ News at 7. And to all of you streaming us tonight, I'm Rick Ritter. I'm Nicole Baker. This is such a huge loss for this family, as you said, just days before Thanksgiving. And tonight, six people rescued from a burning home are recovering, including several kids. And WJZ back out live on that scene tonight. We have been there all day long. Ava Joy Burnett spoke to a neighbor who jumped into action, helping to save lives and preventing this situation, Ava Joy, from being even worse. This could have been so much worse, Rick and Nicole. That good Samaritan said she heard someone yelling for help early this morning. So she got up and ran to this home three separate times. Each one of the times she came, she came here, she was able to rescue at least one more person, including a baby. We've got to let you know that there's grief in this neighborhood today, but also gratitude because this could have been so much worse. The urgent call for help came early in the morning. Evacuate second floor, evacuate second floor, second floor, heavily involved. A row home on Patterson Park Ave in East Baltimore was on fire. Three people died, a woman and two kids. I heard one of the men screaming, help, help. When the fire broke out, I need help. Kids. At least seven kids were inside. It's kids in here, help me. It was a sleepover. When I looked at that house, all in my mind is, how many kids is it? I kicked the back door and the kids came out. So when I went back, I saw the baby flying out the window and I caught the baby and I got a blanket and I wrapped him up. Family members tell WJZ that the three victims who died were a mother and two of her kids, an older boy and a younger girl. Janice was a loving mother, like she really took good care of her kids. The people escaped ranged in ages from 2 to 15. As people gathered for a vigil Monday night, they tried to focus on the glimmer of hope in this darkness. Sitting around planning for Thanksgiving and now We'll be planning for not a funeral for one person, but a funeral for three people. Now, the fire department said there were working smoke detectors inside the home. They're still investigating this fire from earlier this morning. And remember that there are two kids who survived after their siblings, two of their siblings, and their mom passed away. Uh, there will be supplies that are collected at Collington Square Elementary Middle School for those kids who were impacted. Live at 7, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.